station it's 9 30 a.m and i'm gonna follow the a exit to the bus terminal so we're gonna take 56 pence so we got off at nam chung and we realized there is a temple over here so we're gonna go and see it. just finished flying my drone here but I don't know why when I got near the island, the gimbal started to get stuck. So I don't know if it's because I'm near Shenzhen or what. When I got to the island, I flipped back here. So yeah, and we are now going to go back to those signs and we're going to go to Nam. A Chao is a small and inhabited island in the innermost of Starling Inlet, Sha Tao Kok, which is near Nam Chung and in the northeastern New Territories of Hong Kong. It has been designated as a site of special scientific interest since 1985, and the fauna of the island includes night heron, little egret, great egret, black-headed gull, and hearing gull. It was also a breeding site for the passage migrants. It was reported in 2007 that Acha was the largest agro chain in Hong Kong. Actually, a temple over here as well, and this is a car road, so be careful. Oh, this is the Nam Chung River, and now we're gonna take a photo of this reservoir as well. Also, there are loads of dogs here, but the owner of the dog is here, so I think you should be okay. So there's a crossway here. Oh, it already says it's a private area, so we're gonna keep going forward. Oh, this is the temple, but it's being reconstructed now. There's the Nam Chung Pavilion here, but we're not gonna go in here. We're gonna keep going forward. Oh, there's some toilets here as well, if you need it. This is the Nam Chung Country Trail. First of all, we are gonna walk up to No Long Ti. Now we're gonna go to Ping Pong Shan and then we're gonna go to Wong Nan, the Nam Chung Country Trail. I stopped here to take a rest and I looked back and I realized there's this beautiful field behind us. Oh, so this is the Ping Nam Stream and we have to cross over to this little bridge and then we are gonna go up those stairs. Oh my gosh, I think this is the first stream of the Ping Nam stream. And I took a photo here like this, but we're not actually walking along the stream. We're walking along the correct way. <laughs> so there is the crossway here. It actually goes down to the stream, but we're gonna keep going up. Okay, so there's a stream here, and we're gonna cross over to the bridge. Follow the Tan Chok Hang Road. These are some plants. They're called bat fa yao in Chinese. And they actually smell like them as well. And I took a photo here as well. There's actually a sign here. And we're gonna follow the Tan Ho Han's way. There is this Pat Sinang sign. So we're gonna go up there. Look at the beautiful trees over there, and I took a photo here like this. We are now a little further up, and I realized we have views of Shenzhen. Oh my gosh, there's so many beautiful trees here. Just finished my drone here. Pat Sinang is a mountain range in the northeast New Territories of Hong Kong, located within the Pat Sinang Country Park. The name Pat Sinang literally means Range of the Eight Immortals, who are eight well-known Sins. The eight peaks along the Pat Sinang mountain range are each named after a different immortal, and it ranges from 489 meters to 519 meters. And it includes Shenyang Feng, which is the 16th highest peak in Hong Kong. Look at this view. I want to take a photo here. This side is Tai Wu Ping Chen. We have arrived at this sign. There's actually 
two hours and 15 minutes left until we get to passing there. But before we go there, we want to go up to Peng Shan first and we actually have to go through this little trail and up there. Oh, you don't have to go into the bushes. You can just keep going up. There is a crossway here. Let me show you which part of the map we're in now. We're actually right here. So it says we have to follow the right hand side. We're now at Ping Pong Shan. There isn't actually a post here, but I'm gonna fly my drone here to you about Ping Pong Shan. <laughs> We turned left and followed this path, and we're now gonna go to Walton Bay. And we are back to this Wilson Trail. You know you're going the right we're way. Gonna see this danger, steep cliff ahead. It's the Yan Tin District. So there's actually a crossway here, and then we actually have to go to our right hand side. There's a rock here for you to take a photo. There's a crossway here, and we have to keep following our left hand side to go up to Wongnan. There's another crossway here. We actually have to go right to go up to Wongnan. We arrived at Wongnan. I'm gonna fly my drone here to show you the views. Wongnan is on section 9 of the Wilson Trail in Patsingnan Country Park and it is 639 meters. Between Shenyangfeng and Wongnan and mainly on the peaks, you can find sedimentary rocks such as conglomerates and sandstones. They are rocks that are not normally found on a mountain peak. The Patsy Lang Formation actually consists of Cretaceous sedimentary rocks, which was deposited 140 to 100 million years ago, underlain by tufts of the Jurassic Tamo Shan Formation, which is about 164 million years old. However, due to prolonged erosion and weathering, most of these rocks have disappeared, and only some places on the passing line range, these rocks can still be found. <laughs> So that's where we're gonna go now. And it says to finish it, we have two hours and 15 minutes. 
have to go down. One hour and 45 minutes to pack Simon. So we're gonna walk an hour and a half and then we're gonna get there. Time took is a three hour walk from here. So close but so far. We're now on wheel one to one, so we're gonna follow the pink ribbon. We walk past the pink shack and we're gonna keep going here and we're gonna keep following the pink ribbon it's nam chung i wanted to get a photo here the sunflower plant that's my own shan one day i'll hike you and then we're still in front of this chateau cop view and we're also going up there i think currently we've got 45 minutes left until we finish Patsy Man. And they're saying this footpath is not safe, but everyone thinks it doesn't anyway. So we're gonna keep going up. There's a time made to one and a half hour sign, but I actually walked a bit faster than my friend. So the hill is actually up there, but I'm worried she's gonna get lost. So I'm gonna fly my drone here first and then wait for her as well. This is Shenyang Feng, but it doesn't actually have a trigonomical station. Shenyang Feng is a height of 519 meters. It's the highest peak amongst Patsy Nen, and it is the eighth continuous named by the eight Chinese immortals. And it's named by Nu Dongbing, who is the de facto leader of eights. Its summit offers panoramic views of the northeastern landscape, and experienced hikers may enjoy stage 9 and 10 of the Wilson Trail as it takes you along the ridges of Wong Nang, Neng Pak Shan, and Pak Shin Nang. This is a somewhat difficult trail as you need a lot of energy to do this 10 hour hike. And so I would recommend you to take a full day rest before doing this hike. And that's all the information I've got to tell you about this Shenyang Feng. Hope you enjoyed listening! measure the water and I took a photo here like this um uh, this is Chongni Feng there is actually nothing to see here I arrived at Tao No Feng this is 143 meters and the view is literally the same as the other one so I'm not gonna fly my drone here <laughs> I'm gonna keep going down arrived at Kuali Feng and it's kind of the same view we can still see Chuan Tam Shenwu so that is still the Kunyan Temple so I'm not gonna fly my drone here and we're gonna keep going down arrived at Chong Kao Feng and there's nothing to see here so we're gonna keep going down <laughs> and we have arrived at Choi Wu Feng and we are still <laughs> in front of the same view but i kind of want to use my drone to help me take a photo of the sunset so i might fly it here i actually found online that choi wo actually represents a poor immortal and he was a beggar in the tang dynasty who often carried a flower basket
arrived at Shangji Fong, and the sun has already set. Oh, we can actually see Kai Kong Shan from here. I literally did that hike yesterday, and we're literally in the same view again. So I'm not gonna fly my drone here. Oh, we can also see Tai Mo Shan, probably on a clearer day. Oh my God, I finally arrived at the last hill of Pat Single. This is called Sing Pu Po. And I think you can guess what I'm gonna say. The view is kind of the same. Boat Bay, Fresh Water Lake. So I'm not gonna fly my drone here. And there is actually a trigonomical station here. So that's nice to know. And we have one hour left until we get to time I took. I wouldn't recommend going to Bride's Pool because I remember I did a hike in Bride's Pool ages ago on a weekday and there weren't any buses and we had to take a taxi back. So we're gonna go to time and we're gonna follow these stairs. Oh my gosh, it's so dark, you can't see a thing. We just bumped into some people and we're gonna help them out to go to Taiming Tuk. Half an hour left until we reach Taiming Tuk. Actually, my legs don't feel tired, but mentally, I'm quite tired. I want to sleep right now. Oh my god, we have finally arrived at the Spring Breeze Pavilion viewing point, which is right above Taiming Tuk. I am mentally a little tired and I'm so gonna sleep when I get on a bus but anyways I'm gonna end this vlog here if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe like and share it with your friends and I'll see you all with another traveling vlog